Classic cocktail book in the shot. You know what that means. 50 Days of Fuego, Day 13. The Jean Lafitte. Day 13 of 50 Days of Fuego, and today might be a complete disaster. I'm making a cocktail out of this book that my wife got me a few years back, Famous New Orleans Drinks and How to Mix Them. It's from the 1930s. I think this edition is from the late 60s or something like that. But <clears throat> it has a cocktail in here called the Jean Lafitte cocktail that looks really interesting. Um, it sounds pretty good, but we're going to give it a try today and see how it works out. So I wasn't lying when I said it was a little different. Uh, the Jean Lafitte cocktail, one teaspoon of sugar, two dashes of absinthe substitute, two dashes of curacao, a jigger of rum, and an egg yolk. Mix in a bar glass, the absinthe goes on the sugar, then the curacao muddle, and the jigger, add the jigger of rum and drop in the egg yolk, clap on the shaker and go to it, straight into a chill cocktail glass. Easy enough, let's give it a try. All right, put the book right here. Let's start with our recipe. So a teaspoon of sugar. I would normally use a little bit of simple syrup as opposed to just regular sugar, just because it dissolves a little bit better. But the way this recipe works, it looks like we're supposed to dissolve it with some other liquids. So we also need two dashes of absinthe. So this is actually absinthe in this dropper bottle. We're going to two dashes of that. It says absinthe substitute in the recipe, but that's only because Absinthe was illegal, actually, when this book was written. Um, since 2007, it's been legal in the United States. You can find it in any high-end liquor store, so we're all good. And two dashes of curacao. So one, two, two dashes of curacao. And then we're supposed to muddle it, but let's just, oh, we'll just stir it up. And basically, it says muddle, but you're just trying to incorporate the sugar into the liquids that are already in there. Uh, we'll stir it up a little bit. And then comes our jigger of fuego. So jigger of white rum, about an ounce and a half of that. Throw it in there. Stir that a little up. And it says to add an egg yolk. Um, where am I gonna get an egg yolk? Okay. Pardon me, Estella. Thanks. All right, we can thank Estella for her lovely contribution and we need our egg yolk so we'll go ahead and separate that white throw our yolk in there we are all set throw our eggs. We'll shake away So you want to shake this quite a bit to make sure that everything comes in a pretty nice little consistent package. We'll go ahead and strain it into our cocktail glass. Certainly looks bright and sunny. Didn't call for a garnish, so let's give it a try. Here goes nothing. It's actually really good. Um, subtle sweetness uh, from the sugar and the curacao, and the anise from the absinthe really shines through. And the egg yolk, which isn't as weird as it seems, uh, the egg yolk, which shows up in a lot of old cocktails from about the, around this era, really to give a fuller body, a bigger texture to the cocktail, and that's exactly what it does in here. Really fills it out, um, makes it really enjoyable. I would definitely make this again. If you get a chance, you should give it a try at home. Really spectacular. Uh, different, but good. Um, thanks for joining me again for day 13 of 50 Days of Fuego. Leave some comments below, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you uh, to our guest hen for her help. And um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. So it's actually good? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I can't imagine Jean Lafitte drinking anything like this, but it's, it's pretty spectacular.